What's up everybody and welcome back to Daily Forex Market Analysis. Right now is the 27th of May and 2.30 in the morning GMT time zone. So that would make my time at 4.30. And this is Daily Forex Market Analysis. I do this on a daily basis and I upload a video when we get some kind of an action. Okay, so for the past two weeks I haven't been trading a lot. It's not that I didn't trade because I didn't want to trade. It's just because I didn't get a lot of opportunities. So lately the last trade I took was on a euro dollar. It was on a Friday evening and I didn't upload a video on a Friday because I'm uploading today so that that's why you're you're seeing it. So basically let's just go through my six pair portfolio which you can see on the screen plus I added pound Aussie only because uh only because I'm playing around with it I'm following how it moves and I'm planning to back test this down back test it down the road okay with that being said uh, in terms of USD CAD for today I don't see anything on the radar for our uh, uh, for the pattern strategies nor for the trend strategy so I'll just skip it then we have the Aussie CAD the pair that's been moving in a I think it's in a bearish trend somehow it's pulling back in a structure and in terms of patterns as well I see nothing I literally nothing there was a pattern I believe this was a pattern last last week or two weeks ago but I didn't take took it because yes it is a bad out of my trading time look out of my trading time as you can see it lost which is very good I didn't take it at 4 in the morning GMT and my trading time is from 5 in the morning GMT so I awaited the loss for 45 pips Aussie USD uh, this was not a pattern if you ask me because it, it didn't touch the 50 this violated the 8 point and then from there we just started moving up rallying up rallying up and we literally got nothing here as well then we have the euro dollar the pair that's in bearish move on a daily for quite some time and I do expect it to move lower last week Friday I got engaged into a surfer pattern on this on this pair as you can see here however I, I saw it a little bit later and but it was per my rules or when the, uh, this trigger candle was per my rules so I entered it even though I didn't see it at the time so yeah that that's why I got in that's why I got in it, the, it rolled over and then it valid straight up however I do believe and I do hope that it will uh, uh, roll over again and hit my targets both of my targets one and my targets two I need to adjust those targets for a little bit here let's do it right now so uh, targets one here and then we have targets two would be would go here yeah so 30 pips and 56 pips for a loss of 36 pips let's see what's gonna happen uh, then we have pound dollar maybe this would be something for us today let's check this out harmonic trade manager pull it up x to a nothing but yeah this might be a bad pattern for us right at a structure level that would be of my interest okay but we have a rule should not go overbought and oversold bad pattern so i need to wait and now everything is overbought and oversold here as you can see over 70 we need to look at over 80 so what i'll do i'll set up my alarm uh at ask and when price action comes to this price point i'll check out the candle prior to the potential uh trigger candle and if it's not overbought and oversold i'll set my targets I'll set my pending orders and finally for today we have pound yen I'm expecting this pair wait wait yeah so I was it's a bearish trend and I was expecting this pair to pull back into this trigger into this zone kill zone and then push back push down roll over to hit my to retest the low but I, I was getting to get engaged with a lower low lower close at least per my rules that that's what I would do I'm just following the pair not looking to trade it and then as you can see the sellers came in really quickly in the kill zone and boom pushed the price down so if you check it out on a lower time frame yeah there was not a chance to get engaged there is nothing but it's it's a cool to it's very very cool to see how price hashing can follow 
uh, your analysis even though you're not getting engaged. And then we have a pound Aussie. I'm not going to talk anything about it, but this is, I see on hour four, we're in a bullish trend, although it looks kind of bearish. Per my rules, we're in a bullish trend. And I would got stopped out if I were to take, if I, if I was to take this double bottom trade, but if I put my stop loss below the structure that I marked, I would still be in a game. It's obviously a long swing swing play i didn't take the trade i just mark it up to see how it will play out and guys that's it that's it for this morning session on a screen right now you can see a uh, link to my ebook that i wrote that i spent two months writing for everything that i wish that i knew when i was first starting trading so i put everything in this ebook and a lot of cool strategies and a back testing sheet and a video tutorials and everything basically everything like a quick start guide uh, so if you're interested in that, please click a link below or put a link in the browser and uh, put your details in and get the access to the book. Also, make sure to share share with me what you think about the book. If you like this kind of videos, please comment below, subscribe, click the like button and also let me know what you think. If, with that being said, looking forward to see you in the afternoon session that's coming right up. Thank you and bye bye. And we are back. Hi traders and welcome to the afternoon session. So from the morning session, you remember that on USD CAD, we basically had nothing. So I will just skip through that pair because nothing, nothing happened throughout the day as well. So Aussie CAD, uh, also big, big nothing. So we're going to go and skip this one as well. Aussie USD, I had nothing, nothing. However, if you're a trader and if this is a valid, uh, bad pattern for you there there was a bad pattern on uh, the one that i saw later on bad this one and this is if this is a valid time for you to enter which was a 5 p.m i believe 5 p.m gmt 24th uh then you you got into trade but it's an overbought and i believe i should not i don't have yeah i'm not trading bats on this pair and on aussie cad i'm not trading garkley so I wasn't able to get engaged, but from the looks of it, this is a winning trade. Let me just verify. No, you would still be in a trade, but it will be rolling over slowly towards your targets. You would be up like 10 pips or so. So yeah, that's one trade that I missed in the morning session. But yeah, here it is. Euro dollar still rolling over slowly towards our targets. We will see what's going to happen. I'm not touching it. I see a lower, low, lower close, lower, low, lower close, sideways movements, again, lower, low, lower close. And then we have a, some kind of a consolidation. So if I take a look on an hour four, uh, I do hope that this hour four candle will close below this one. And then we will see a rollover com to complete to targets one and then targets two, hopefully as well. Pound dollar waiting for the cipher pattern. This is what I was waiting for, but I don't think this is a cipher actually because because we didn't get 127. Yes, 126.51. So not no cipher pattern for us. Besides this, I have nothing here. Pound yen, uh, price action rolled over, pushed up, rolled over again, and it's currently moving sideways. I guess nothing's happening, so I have nothing on the pound yen. Pound Aussie just moving sideways as we saw in the morning session. So yeah, that's it. Well, actually on a pound Aussie, if you're trading it on an hour one time frame, you can see that you have a X to A, A to B, you have a Gartley. A Gartley pattern, which actually completed to targets one, because if you roll over your targets, if you trail your targets, you would have a target one winner right there. You see, that would be a target one winner for a complete, for how much for 20 pips or for 15 pips 15 pips plus and with that being said guys that's it that's the forex market analysis for today we will see how the euro dollar will complete hopefully tomorrow hopefully hit targets and with that being said thank you very much for staying until the end of this video if you like this kind of a content and if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing also make sure to click that like button share a video and leave a comment below it does helps with the youtube algorithm tremendously so thank you very much and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.